so here's another really sick transition that you guys can use using the Ken Burns technique and this is again 100% for free I want to make sure that I can see all four corners so right here I'm gonna press command B to make a cut so now these are two different clips we're gonna have to place this clip above it should look like this there shouldn't be any jump cuts or anything like that we're gonna make our first mask of just the actual art piece not the frame so we're gonna go over to the magic wand tool we're gonna add a magnetic mask we're gonna click once to make our selection maybe another one over here and there so that looks pretty good but you can see it selected the frame and other random parts of the video so hold option and click to deselect anything you don't want part of the mask I think I did a good selection. Then you're gonna click on analyze and this will analyze your clip. Okay, it just finished selecting the mask and keep in mind this frame is red by default. If you wanna change the mask color though, you can click on this red bar here and change it to blue. Red would be a little bit hard to see. So now I'm gonna click on done. And now you can see it just selected the art piece, but we actually wanna inverse this because we want to zoom into it. We don't wanna show the artwork as we're zooming in. So with the mask clip selected, under magnetic mask, click this little oval icon and go to invert mask and make sure that this is unchecked. So click on it and now it should be unchecked. So you can see through your mask and we can see this clip underneath, which is this one. We're gonna do this one more time. So we're gonna hold option, duplicate this clip one more time and we're gonna select the middle clip, okay? Because our top clip is going to be the frame clip. So we can leave that how it is, but the second clip, we're just gonna make sure that the invert masks is checked. So with the second clip selected, we're gonna go over to transform and it's at the beginning. Make sure your playhead is here because that's where it starts. Go to transform for the second clip and we're gonna add a keyframe at the beginning. Go one frame to the left. I'm just gonna drag this over to the right like that. Just move it out of the frame, just like this. It shouldn't show on your last frame. So once we're there, we're going to go over to the effects. We're gonna go to blur and add a directional blur. And I don't want it to start with a blur, right? I want it to start at zero. So add a keyframe at the beginning with zero under amount. And then you're gonna move your playhead about maybe like right here and then just bring this out. I think this is perfect, super smooth. This top clip though, I want to zoom into as well. So just go over to the down arrow, go to crop, go to Ken Burns, and we're gonna go to the end of this clip. Go one frame to the left. So you're gonna drag the end inwards to anywhere inside of this black mask. Now you're gonna see that this snaps to this like horizon on this window, which is kind of annoying. So to get rid of that, just hold command on the keyboard and drag, click on done. If I go back and push play, it's gonna look just like this, super, super sick. And that's all you gotta do. So here's the original clip from the music video. You can just apply a drag and drop effect with these here, and these are props, by the way. You guys could head on over to my website at kingtutspro.com and go over to the explicit effects page. There's a variety of drag and drop elements. So you have this skull transition where it opens its eye. You have this one, which is like a scope. You have this one with the crime tape. If you go down, you can see how they work. You just drag and drop the overlay onto a clip in the timeline, and you can see all of the possibilities that you can use this for. You have the gold bars if you're like on a bank scene or something. You have the weapon over here if you want to use a prop. You also have a warning label or disclaimer if you want to use that onto a clip. This other item here that I can't explain because YouTube will not monetize this video. So if I go down, there is 50 drag and drop assets. They are all pre-keyed in 4K and they're ready to use straight out of the pack. It's a folder, you just drag it directly in your media. It works on all editing applications, as long as you can place transparent videos, right? So this is the folder, as you can see here, you get all of these, there is no subscription whatsoever and you can download this instantly. And you also have a free sample pack if you wanna try it out for yourself before deciding on getting the full complete pack. So check out the link in the description. So the trick to do this is using the magnetic mask. First things first, have your clip in the timeline that you wanna use and then trim it to the length that you want to use. So that way I don't affect this first clip and this second clip here. We're gonna hold option and drag upwards to duplicate our clip. You're gonna go over to the magic wand tool, go to add magnetic mask, and we're gonna select our subject's face. Anyways, go ahead and click on analyze. Just finished masking the mask of this guy's mask. <laughs> so what you're gonna do is if I disable the bottom clip, it's just like that. I want to scale this up. So I'm gonna go over to transform. I'm gonna add a keyframe. I'm gonna skip like five frames. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna scale this up. So just bring this up like that. And I'm also gonna change this over here. So it kind of covers his face. So it's kind of like this. I'm gonna go about here. I'm gonna add a keyframe, get rid of that one, add a keyframe, and then go to the end. 
one frame to the left, and then readjust these to zero for X and Y and 100 for scale all. This just brings it back to default. It zooms up and it zooms down. If you are liking this video so far, if you could hit the like button, that would be absolutely amazing. Maker cut, which is here. This is the cut that I want to use. And this is our second shot. And I want to apply something in between so it doesn't look so you know, drastic of a cut. With the first clip here, I'm going to hold option and drag upwards to duplicate our clip. And I'm going to go over here and add a magnetic mask. I only want to select our subject, not the cyber truck. Perfect. I'm going to click on analyze. Okay, it just finished. Here is the result. Did a really good job. So if I disable the bottom clip, this is what it's going to look like. It's just a rotoscoped subject. Now what I want to do is make this clip like overlap our second clip. So in order to do that, we're going to take this clip here and we're going to trim it. So we're going to trim it down to a couple of frames. So one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to go over to the inspector window. I'm going to add a color board correction. I'm going to just start here, add a keyframe right here. So I'm going to start it like this, but go to the end, go one frame to the left and you're going to bring the shadows all the way up and the highlights all the way down. And you could also bring this down under the global. It's going to look like this. It's going to flash, disappear. 